Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be working on some heat transfers and HTV. I'm gonna put these on a shirt for some, with some parents who wanted some uh, football jersey for their children with the numbers on them. And uh, this is what I'm gonna put on there, on the back of it, that number 88. And uh, these are the shirts that they want them on, which is a uh, royal blue. But um, I hope everybody is well today. I have a young lady on there, I'm not for sure, but her name is Claudette Lewis. And that's my mate name, along with my name is Claudette Lewis, but my mate name. And, um, I, and she's one of my new subscribers. And I sure appreciate her, you know, getting on there and letting me know her name is Claudette. That's awesome. There ain't too many Claudettes that I know, but this is what we're going to be putting on today. Heat transfers. These are from, um, I want to say, um, opaque. These are the opaque transfers, but I cut them out. I printed it, and then I cut them out. No, this is from the photo paper. I'm sorry, photo paper photo paper not opaque I thought I was using that one but I didn't okay so let's get started on this I'm gonna take I'm gonna do my vinyl first you always do the vinyl if you're doing a heat transfer always do the vinyl first and make this one the last that you do okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this on here you can always line it up but I'm gonna go take it to the press and then we're gonna press it on there give me one second bring this over here on this side so y'all let me set y'all up first okay y'all hope y'all having a good day because I'm trying to have I'm gonna have me a good day today let's see we're gonna bring it down a little so we can get it right there for you guys so you can see what I'm doing over here can y'all see that I think I did it too much right there I need my glasses on so I can see y'all. See the um what I'm doing over here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So we can bring this one over here. I'm gonna press the shirt first. Always press it first. I'll be glad when my husband get everything fixed over here for me so I won't have to be coming over here and doing my stuff over here. But it's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it, but it'll be all right. I'll put my cap on here. Move the mess up a little bit. Just tighten it. That's good, okay. I always forget which way I'm supposed to go on this thing. So now we have our shirt and it's been pressed and now it's ready. Um, I'm gonna put the, let me put my cap on in here. Let me show you put, <clears throat> how I put my cap on, excuse me. How I put my cap on, sheet on my press. That's hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now I have my Teflon on, so I won't have to worry about it. Okay, so now remember we fold this. We can fold the shirt. This is a medium to make sure that it's straight. It doesn't have no wrinkles in it. We'll press it down some. Get that little crease in there. That's what I'm trying to do. There you go. Got a little crease in there. See that little crease? So I put a crease in there. It's not a good one, but it's enough to follow by what you want to do to line it up with. And sometimes it be right and sometimes it don't. Okay, now I'm gonna bring over my design so I know how far I want to bring it down. So I'm gonna line my design up here so it'll be enough room. I wanna bring it down four fingers. Yeah, there we go, right there, four fingers. And then I have enough room for my design. Yep, okay. So remember, I'm gonna do all my um, my transfers, my heat transfers first to HTV. We're gonna do that first. So just line this up to make sure everything is right. I always have it backwards. Press, I'm going to go ahead and press this one on here, just a little bit, not much, because I'm going to have to press it again. I just want to tack it down, because remember, we got to do the um, the, tra the heat transfer, and that goes up to, seven, that's uh, 374, which I'm only pressing this at 329. By it being a dark, this is a dark transfer that I'm doing on, on this shirt. The dark colors get the dark transfers. I'm gonna bring this one up some here. A little bit more, a little closer to the. Now let's see where we at on this one. I folded that one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one over just a tad. About two or three. I didn't want it to stick, but it's okay. Let's see what that one is now. Mm -hmm. Let's go back a little bit. I went over too much, so we have to go back and do it again. And by it being so sticky, Let's try that. I ain't always on the money, but sometimes I am. This one is a little sticky vinyl. The other one didn't stick that much, but this one has been real sticky today. So I just cannot get it right. One of the two. Let's see. Let me make sure that I did this right first because if this is off, that's probably what's throwing it off. straight though. I'm laying it down but I'm trying not to stick it on there but it just seemed like it's sticking anyway. I 
right there. That's where I need it at. Right there. Right there. Now, we got it. So make sure that's right. <laughs> I'm having a time with this one. This is one I'm really having a time with. Y'all just work with me now, because I, I don't normally have this much issues, <laughs> but I'm having a lot of issues today. Let's see, let's go over some here. I'm just gonna have to estimate this here for me, but I wanna make sure it's right though for the customer when they wear it, you know, you can notice things like that. Sometimes, you know, the shirts will be off as well. It ain't always just the, the shirt being off. Okay, I need it right there. That is so crazy. I'm having an issue with this shirt, and I've never had this many issues with the shirt before. Okay, there you go. Okay, we got it now. We got it. Sometimes I have to hold it up and look to make sure that it's pretty much straight. Because <laughs> sometimes it looks like it's straight and then sometimes it's really not. And I'm still messing with it, but I want to make sure. You know how you have to do it. Make sure that it's straight. You want everybody to be happy. I know I do because I wouldn't want my shirt messed up. All right. Okay, we got it. So we're going to tap this down a little bit. But remember, we're not going to tap them all down. I'm going to do the other shirt first. And then um, we're going to go to the, um, the transfers. But right now, I'm just going to set this one down here. And this one here is a bigger shirt, so we're going to have to press this one to make sure it's straight. Try to get a good press on it. And we're going to fold this one in half too. I don't know why I'm having such a problem with it today. And normally I don't have a problem. These here are my easiest shirts to do. Yeah, they're easier. an issue to grab with my husband get this thing off of this thing and then get some wheels on it so it'll roll around and I can roll it and it won't be making all this little noise that y'all be hearing. it over and we're going to do the back side and we're going to put this one on here and make sure the shirt is straight on here as well okay and now we're going to put this one on here and we're going to do it the same way fold it up and we're going to stick it on the back and then we're going to get our ruler and we're going to measure. All right, now see, I didn't have no issue with this one at all. So make sure there's nothing underneath there. Have some like some little white stuff underneath here. I don't want that on there because I don't want it to get on the shirt. Then I'll have to show y'all how to take off this vinyl and put it back on again. Gonna tap that down just a little bit and then we're gonna go and wait till our press go up to 374 
And I'm gonna turn it up to 374. So we can do the heat transfers. That's 15 seconds. No, no, I don't think I want to go that long. This is a dark. I'll just press it enough. Okay. You know, the dark, I don't have to press as long as I press the, the, one, uh, the white shirts. So we're going to let that go up some. But on, in the meanwhile, I'm going to leave these on. So when I press it, it'll help protect it. So we'll leave those on there. And then I'm going to place the... Um, heat transfer okay now this is my heat transfer it comes off this paper see the white one if, if I had the white one if I had the white one I would press it this way and, and mirror it but since it's the dark I don't have to mirror it all I do is just take this off just pull it off like that and then I have to line it up Sometimes I can take it and pull it in half. But see, by me having this little bit here, it's going to be down some. So I'm going to take and trim some of this part off of it right here, off my transfer. Because I need to get this up there to the top of my shirt. I want it closer to the to the uh, name on the top of the shirt. So we'll put that back. But I just want to get a little bit closer without it touching. Let's see, let's see. I can, I go a dog. And then you use uh, parchment paper. You have to use parchment paper. And you just put the parchment paper over here like this. It's ready to go. I don't want that stuff like that. I got to leave it and put it down. Now we're going to go over here and we'll let that sit for a minute. I need a little space up here so what I do is cut some of this off which I should have did this before I started put before I put it on there but it's okay if you forget you can always go back and go back in there and get it without cutting the letters okay let's pull you over here I don't want you to melt my design before I get it on here and then let me take this one off Because if you let this sit by it, the heat from it, it will wrinkle up your um, your transfer because you know this is just the transfer. So you have to remember that, that it's a transfer and it can easily mess up. I think that one here is a little bit too close. Yeah, that's nowhere close. 
by the design. Because if it gets too close, it'll stick to it. And you don't want the heat transfer to stick to it. And now I have my um, my colored, um, I mean my DTF machine, but I'm waiting on them to set it up, the, um, set the um, software up for me. So that's what's taking so long. Paper. Yeah, so I'm just waiting on them to set up my software. That's why I have to use these transfers right now. And once they set it up, then I'll go with you, go through it with you on my um, DTL. So I did buy one, and just waiting on them to set it up. My rip software on there. Okay. So now we're gonna go back over here to the table. While that cool off. I'm gonna bring you back over here with me. And let's see. I know y'all probably can't see anything. Here we go. Okay, right there. So just waiting on them to set it up for me. And you know, I think they're like a 12 hour, you know, time, time zone is 12 hours, so. I have to wait on it. Well, let me pull this up so y'all can see me as well. Okay, right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I have to make sure this is on here. I want to tap it down a little bit more. I want it. I think what I'm going to do is go tap it down a little, this one here because. I don't believe I tapped this down a lot, but we're going to find out. It's on there. Let's pull this one out first so we can see what we have here. Okay, I got that one. All right, that didn't look so bad. And now we're going to get this one to make sure this one's tapped down some. That's 374. It should have been tapped in. Pull it off slowly. Okay. Now, this is what the shirt looks like. And then on the back, that's what it looks like. So it came out pretty good. So I'm going to put these up. I'm going to package them. I'm going to fold them up. And then I'm going to get them packaged up. So when the client come and pick them up, they'll be ready for them. So let's pull this one off. Oh, that put, did pretty good. I love it. Now, one thing I did do, let's see. Oh, that looks good, okay. And there's another one. And then we're gonna pull this one off. Just pull it off slowly. And make sure when you're doing this HTV, you have to make sure all these little circles that you have on your um, on your transfer are open because sometimes I'll I'll forget a little piece on there and forget you know see like sometimes like this here circles right there if you don't take them out you're gonna leave them in there so you have to make sure you check it. I didn't want to leave, I didn't want to do this one. I wanted to do the DTF, but it wasn't ready yet. So I had to come out here and do this one. So, but um, if you guys have any questions, comments, this is um, heat transfer that I put on here. You know, heat transfer doesn't last that long. So when you do a couple of washes or three or four washes, but if you do not put it in a dryer, it'll last a long time. It'll last a longer time than normal. But if you just uh, take it, put it in a the dryer, then you're gonna tear up the paper and stuff is on here because it's not really, it's in there. You know, you can hear it, it's on top of the fabric. But just for a little time being, this is what they wanted. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So um, I thank y'all for watching my channel and I please subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you and you be blessed.